Okay, um, trying to figure this out. Okay, what just happened? Oh, okay, we don't need the camera. Oh boy. Sorry guys. Um, I was trying to create a stream and um, things are not cooperating right now, but we will fix this. Okay. We have a... Um, Houston, we have a problem here. Something is going on. We're going to fix it. Okay. And create stream. Let's see if it decides to work. Oh, I don't know if I set up the uh, thumbnail. Maybe I did. All right. Well, let's see if it decides to work. I've been having trouble with my um, uh, stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so let's see if it decides to work. You know, you never know these things, but... We'll try one more check. I always like to check. Oh, I know. Let's go here. Let's go to the dashboard. And let's see if it's going to decide to work for us. Ah, looks like it might be working. All right. Awesome. Okay. And there is one more thing I need to check. Because I need to make sure the volume doesn't come on on everything. All right. So we got this. And one more thing. Sorry, guys. This is um, my first time using a new program. And so I want to make sure and uh, share this with you. Okay. There is one more thing I need to share. And so we go back. Hopefully it decides to cooperate with me. So we're going to now go here. And I shall put a... There we go. But why is it doing that? That is not what I wanted to do. Okay, close that. I wanted to do this live stream. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It is not cooperating with me. I'm doing something wrong, I'm sure. But it's putting the wrong, um, like the wrong picture there for you. And it's not fixing my new stream. I keep telling what I want the new stream to be, but it won't listen. Okay. One more time, guys. Sorry. Still, oh, still trying to find the way to work this darn thing. Because I have a surprise for you today. It is way cool. But I don't want to do it wrong. I want everything to be perfect today. Because this darn thing has not been helping me. And, and let's see. And we want it ultra low. And let's see if it will even let me do a picture. I don't know. It's acting weird. Okay. Let's see if this works. All right. So that's the name of it. And let's see if it decides to work. And who's who? 
it is not giving me a stream. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. It's weird. It's not acting right. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so this is um, who's who in guest prices. And um, it's going to be my first one. And the reason I'm doing this is because I was at work and I was trying to tell somebody about what's happening in Mexico where they're putting it out there when people are lying or cheating people on prices on gas. And I said, just go online and I'm sure you'll find something. Well, guess what? We couldn't find a single picture of the gas prices. So this here is 12 one 19 This is the comparable prices. You can see regular, premium, and diesel. And um, it's just to give you an idea of what's going on in Mexico. They're trying to give people a shield against being robbed at the gas station by people that are gouging with their prices. And you can see the big disparity between the prices. It is incredible. And uh, they keep getting away with it because there's not enough... Um, uh, it's not out there enough. It's it's not big enough yet. So we need to put it on YouTube so people know. Okay. So I'm starting it there. And uh, let's see if that works. Okay. So now we're going to go with the next part here. So I'm going to remove the cover video. And this is when the president starts on Monday's conference. He always starts with the who's who of prices. And normally I skip over this part because I'm like, ah, if they want to know, they can just go to the beginning of the um, of the conference and they can see it every Monday. But guess what? It's being overlooked and it is a essential part of the protective tools that the president of Mexico has provided to his people. So, I need to stop glossing over it and I need to let people know what's going on. So this is just something that maybe you never know. It'll catch on in the U.S. and they'll start letting us know who's gouging us and where the best prices are. Okay, but in Mexico, they are really off the hook. So they had to do this in order to keep them honest. So here we go. We're going to start. Tabasco. Y de luego abrimos para preguntas y respuestas. Perdón. So you see what it says, quién es quién? That means who is who. So this is the who's who of prices, of combustibles and gasoline. Gracias, señor presidente. Muy buenos días a todas y a todos ustedes. ¿Quién es quién en el precio de la gasolina? En la gasolina regular, el precio más alto con el margen más alto lo encontramos en… So here he's telling you we're doing the who's who like every Monday and today the who's who on the, um, uh, I think he said regular gasoline uh, prices, but they'll show us a graph right now. So every time they tell you a price, they give you a graph and the graph tells you exactly um, which places are highest, which places are lowest, and by what margin. And by the way, at some point, um, they uh, go and they um, uh, pick the ones who have been honest the whole time because they say this is the median, this is what we give them, this is what they should be charging, and this is what they charge, and this is the, uh, what they're charging. And whoever has been the most honest and most um uh, helpful to the people, uh, get like a banner that says that they're like they're the best or something, and they get to put it on their gas station. So it encourages that competition to get that sign. And also on the counter uh, part to that is if they are caught cheating. And by the way, they also do tests every uh, week to see if they're uh, raking, where they put these machines in the uh, gas uh, pumps that um, kind of make you think you're getting a better price, but actually they have a rake which takes a piece of the um, gas um, off each liter 
Oh, and by the way, these prices are by liter. I kept thinking it was gallon. I was thinking, oh man, the prices are, are real good in Mexico. But it works out to be about the same. It's about three something a gallon. Um, I believe it's 3.75 or something like that per uh, liters per gallons or something in that neighborhood. But anyway, it's not quite four. And so this is the, the, the prices um, that they're starting out with. So you get to compare this. Real CSA de CB en La Paz, Baja California Sur, con un precio al público de 21.70. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and slow it down. That gives you time to read it. And let me get out of the way so you can see this one. Okay, so you can see um, he's saying that La Paz, um, California Sur, uh, Baja California Sur is 21.75 per liter. That, um, I guess, is that the highest? I think that's the highest. See, it's got the arrow. The red arrow over, wait, whoa, 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 up here. <laughs> it's got that uh, red arrow that lets you know that this is the highest price. It's in red. The green ones are the ones that are good, okay? So this is a bad price, bad, bad. 75 por litro y un margen de tres pesos con 19 centavos. So they've gone over the margin by three uh, pesos, and that is on there too somewhere. Yeah, three point, um... It says 3 point something, 3.39. Sorry, my vision's not so good. But anyway, it looks like 3.39, they've gone over the margin. So you can see on this list, um, they put the one with the highest price on top. And they tell you what the margin is, how much they're charging too much on their margin. So this lets people know um, what gas station, like if you're Americans in, um, and English speakers there in Mexico, you can see on this list uh, which is the best prices so that you'll know where to go and apparently like in Cabo um, they have the highest prices and they really cheat you so if you want to get a good um, a price on your gas you're gonna have to go a little bit outside of those pretty little resort areas okay so let's go to the go on with that so here centavos mientras que el más económico lo encontramos en SGS Okay, so here, see it's got that um, arrow that's pointing down. It says who's who, and it's got an arrow pointing down. This means the lowest, so it's not green. It's like a golden color. So if they're doing really good, they get the gold, and the lowest price is seventeen ninety. So again, um, that's going to be, let's see, uh, seventeen ninety is in Tabasco. There it is. It's on the top. So um, you can see it's on the top of the list again for the uh, best price. And then um, I'm leaving this up for a while so that you guys can check your gas stations nearest you <clears throat> and then see um, if how your gas station is doing. En Centro Tabasco con un precio al público de 19.90 por litro y un margen de 15 centavos. En la gasolina premium, el margen y el precio más alto lo encontramos en Inver Servicio. Okay, so here they're showing you premium gas prices. So I guess the first one was regular. And this one's premium gas prices. This is the one with the uh, most expensive price. Now, if you look right above the price, you can see the name of the gas station. Uh, or where it's at, and then above in the red area, you can see um, the the name of the gas stations. So anyway, um, you would look there to see the name of the gas stations and the locations. And then if you go on the app, they have a litro por litro um, dot mx dot com uh, dot gov um, that will give you the uh, like a, a map of um, the prices the best prices in your area so you can while you're in your car put your have your app and you can like it'll gps you to the best price to a place to uh, buy gas which is pretty cool but anyway they put them on front street right here dios en gasolineras en tlaquepaque jalisco a 22.72 por litro un margen de 3.80 so their margin is 3.80 so it's pretty high Eh, esto en la que pa que está en periférico sur 8300 para que lo ubiquen So they're telling you that the the place this uh, this place is on periférico sur and then he gives the address as well 
también eh, los consumidores de la zona metropolitana de Guadalajara. So this is the metropolitan zone of Guadalajara. Uh, so they have like the highest price. So they're letting you know, hey, don't go to this guy. And that encourage, discourages them from having those high prices. And it encourages uh, them to decrease. And it encourages the ones that are doing better because they have a chance at getting on that. They get a banner that they get to put at their gas station that says that they've been overall the best. And I think last time they gave one uh, to each, like one or two to each area. So he's already get done that, given people a, um, like their, I don't know, like their badge of honor, which is really cool. Serviplus Gasolinero en Cunduacán, Tabasco, a 18.89 por litro y un margen de 29. So this uh, was the one with the lowest price in Tabasco. Uh, as you can see, it's 18.89. So he's got an arrow going down and it's in gold. Let's you know that's the best price on that one. Nueve centavos es el más económico en gasolina premium. En el diesel. So that was premium gas. That's the lowest price. Diesel. Fonatur, operadora portuaria en Huatulco, Oaxaca, tiene el precio más alto, 22.87. So this one here has the highest price. Um, and so uh, that's in Huatulco, Oaxaca. So they've got a pretty high price. They're, they're 2.97 over the median. Siete por litro, con un margen de 2.97 por litro. Mientras que el más económico operadora tabasqueña, Edmagra, en centro Tabasco, a 19.49 por litro, con un margen de 23 centavos. So then you've got this one that's uh, the lowest also, um, which is 19.49 um, on what? Diesel. That's the diesel price that's the best. Si lo vemos por marcas, eh, en los pre oh, and this one here, it shows you um, by brand. So like you can see, it says Chevron, uh, Redco, Arco, um, Shell. So if you look on the bottom, it tells you the name of the company um, so that you can uh, see which company has tendencies to charge the most or the best prices and all that. And so you can uh, look at your graphs. You know, they got all the graphs all on one. So you can look to see who's doing the best, if they've had price reductions, if they're trying to do better or not. But you know, they're going to stay with the competition, especially uh, the American companies uh, like to charge more, <laughs> of course. You either capitalists, what do you expect? Precios altos siguen en los primeros lugares Chevron, Redco y Arco, mientras que Shell y Oxogas han estado subiendo paulatinamente sus precios, lo cual ha empujado a Pemex del medio de la tabla hacia abajo, mientras que los más económicos siguen siendo Full Gas, Total y La Gas. Si nos vamos al tema de verificación de gasolineras, Tuvimos 268 eh, denuncias y quejas atendidas, todas presentadas por la app de Litro por Litro. So here he's telling you that there was, um, these are the people, see the 268, they have an app where you can say, um, complain that, you know, hey, these people, I think they're doing something wrong because whatever reason, I put this much usually in my tank and this time it was in full with the same amount and the price was so-and-so or whatever. So you can put a complaint into that, um, that gas, um, um, there's a, a gas app, and you can also put a complaint in there if uh, you go, and, and so then they will go and do uh, eval on them, and they will either drop by or straightforward. Now, if they drop by, you know, and they're straightforward with them and they tell them, okay, we're here to check your pumps and they refuse. And by the way, they allow them to refuse, but they will let everyone know that they refused. And then they will later go by without telling them and just somehow do the test and figure out if they're stealing and if, or skimming some off the top. And if they do, uh, then they will, and you never know where, which vehicle is going to be there to check on you. 
Um, and so they're very, they're very um, good about catching them when they lie. And then they close down the shop. They don't let them use their gas station and they get fined and all that. So they're being very strong against corruption. And they started with the gas. They started closing off all these um, siphoning lines that they had that were being condoned by the previous administration because I think they were getting a cut off of it or they were actually uh, the ones that were involved in uh, putting these uh, lines in to steal the gas from the country itself, which is, you know, that was supposed to be for the benefit of the people. But anyway, so this is all, uh, it tells you all the uh, different areas that they're testing. And then, so here it says, um, they uh, told, uh, complained about 268. We visited 238 of these. Uh, one, you see that one? It says they declined to be tested or uh, refused to be tested. Uh, gas verified with irregularities. There was 10 of them that had uh, irregularities with the price or the liter. So this, it would behoove you to check this um, uh, because then you'll start to find out who's been cheating. Who should you not trust? Who should you not buy gas from? Okay, so gasolineras verificadas. Okay, that was, oh, um, and then they had irregularities. So that first one was the liter was not right. The next one had irregularities, which uh, there was 113 irregularities, which means somehow they were doing something wrong. It could be... Uh, not um, like they've got sometimes the counter does something. Sometimes they have a rake. Sometimes they don't give enough per gallon. But if something is not right, they will um, handle it and put them on Front Street. And sometimes in some cases, close down the gas stations, no matter how many pumps they have. Okay, so the other one is, um, okay, so they verified tw uh, 2,521 um, pumps and their lines and let's see uh, pumps and lines you know the, the gas um, uh, hoses uh, that that were not giving a liter per liter were 10 so there was 10 of them that had irregularities in the somehow in the pump or the hose so they were cheating so they got busted and whenever they get busted cheating they close them down so, um, and then the ones that refuse to be tested, um, they get a fine also, but they also like then have to go to uh, present themselves in court and explain why they didn't want to be tested. And um, then they start to be getting tested more often and uh, secretly. Okay, so we go to the next one. Por litro, por medio de este mecanismo, y realizamos 238 visitas o verificaciones. Hubo una gasolinera que se negó a ser verificada y fueron 10 bombas mangueras inmovilizadas en la semana. La gasolinera que se negó a ser verificada para que evitemos consumir ahí, porque obviamente algo están escondiendo y no es nada bueno para el consumidor, es Impulso Peninsular en Mérida, Yucatán, en la calle S. Oh, and by the way, see this here? This is the one. So if someone gets caught with an irregularity where they were trying to cheat, they get put on Front Street. Front Street. <laughs> so right there you can see they're giving the name Impulso a Peninsular S.A. of C.V. in Merida, Yucatan. And then they give you the address. See the address right there under the red where it says domicile? That means address. So they will tell you, these guys were not honest. Don't trust these guys. So now they're on Front Street. They're going to have to prove themselves if they uh, are allowed to get open uh, once because they usually close them when they are caught, busted, Dead to rights with irregularities. Senta para todos nuestros amigos de Mérida que ubiquen bien esta gasolinera que no se dejó verificar. So, oh no, I'm sorry. This one was the one that did not allow themselves to be verified. So yes, they're being put on Front Street. Um, and then once they will go by and they will check them up. Plus, they're letting people know, don't trust these guys. For some reason, they didn't let us check their pumps. So something's going on. Don't trust them. 
El número de descargas de la aplicación hasta el día de hoy, 129 mil. So uh, so you guys need to download this app because it looks like it's really cool. So you can go to the App Store. But I'm trying to see what the, um, I don't see what the address on it is, but I think it's Litro X Litro. Um, and, and then you would go, uh, I think it says mx.gov, dot mx.gov. 612 y seguimos tomando muy en cuenta eh, todas sus observaciones a la app y realizando las verificaciones. So whenever people turn in uh, their complaints to this app, they will go and verify. They've got a team of um, members uh, of, of their um, protective team um, that work this area. And whenever they get the complaints on this app, they send someone out to go check it out. En base a las denuncias que ahí se presenta. La gasolina más barata en la app la encontramos para regular en 17.75. Okay, so this one is a very important uh, slide, I think, that they put up. This one tells you the best price, where the best price is, and it gives the name of the, um, of the city that it's in. Uh, which, for example, uh, 1775 is Centro Tabasco, and then La Paz, um, Baja California is 21.82. So um, you can see that what they do is they tell you the best price, where the best price on each area is located. Because um, Mexico, um, throughout all its states, is using this app and using this program. So. Um, this kind of helps the people. It may not, yours may not be one of the ones that turns up, but if they were doing something irregular, they certainly would. And if they had the best price, they certainly would. And if they had the lowest price or the highest price also, it would also turn up here. Centro Tabasco, mientras que la más cara en La Paz, Baja California, 21 pesos 82 centavos por litro. En la Premium, 18 pesos con 54 centavos en Medellín so de Bravo, la más económica y la más cara en Benito Juárez, aquí en la Ciudad de México, a 22.89 por litro. Y en el diésel, el más económico a 18.99 por litro en Medellín de Bravo, Veracruz. Y la más cara, 22.96 en Churumuco, Michoacán. Esta tabla muy similar las últimas tres semanas y eso lo pueden constar. And he said the, the past three week, uh, weeks, this tab, uh, this uh, slide has been pretty much the same, very similar. It hasn't changed very much. So these same guys that had their high prices are still having their high prices. Estar en la app de litro por litro. ¿Quién es quién en la venta del gas LP? And then, so now, uh, who's who on the LP gas? That's, I believe, the one that tank the one that they use um, in homes, like in the little tanks for uh, places that don't have um, underground uh, gas lines for the home. And they have to use those little tanks like trailers, the little portable tanks. Um, they, they go into the prices on those. En tanques estacionarios, el precio más alto lo encontramos en Lázaro Cárdenas, Gas Express Nieto, 11 pesos 50 centavos por litro. So here um, they're saying, that on those tank, uh, or they call them immobile tanks. Uh, so they, I guess that's the ones where they have to have the um, uh, tank uh, at their house and maybe they take a truck or something. So then they tell you who's the, the worst. The worst price was 11.5 per liter. Con un margen de cinco pesos 74 which has a margin of five pesos, which is pretty high por litro, mientras que el más económico para estacionarios Viva Gas en Saltillo, Coahuila, 7.50. So the best price was 7.5. That's a big difference. Cuenta por litro con un margen de un peso 38 centavos por litro. So they have a margin of uh, 1.38 per liter, which means they couldn't have gone much lower. En cilindros, Gas Express Nieto tiene el precio más alto en Lázaro Cárdenas, Michoacán. Con... Oh, so this is the cylinders. The first one was those ones where you have like a stationary tank that the truck has to come and put gas in. Now this one is the one where you have those small tanks.
21 pesos 29 centavos por kilo y 10 pesos 15 centavos de margen por kilo. Mientras que el más económico, gas del trópico en Salina Cruz, Oaxaca, con un. This one was the best price for the little tanks in Oaxaca, Salina Cruz. Un precio al público de 15 pesos 17 centavos por kilo y un margen de 4 pesos 23 centavos. And that also has a margin of 4.23 por kilo. En el tema de verificación de gas, eh, realizamos en esta semana 38 eh, verificaciones. So this week they verified 38. Um, and so here is where they, uh, if you look at this chart, you can see the verifications. Um, two had no problem. 35 had a problem. Uh, one had negative verification. So see, you can see um, that there is a uh, uh, quite a bit of irregularities. And then they've also got the scales. They, they make sure that the scales are correct. So where it says basculas, that's a scale. And vehicles, they also check the, the vehicles that, um, uh, you know, go take the gas to the homes. They also check those pumps to make sure that those are not being uh, somehow... Uh, they don't have one of those rakes or any way to cheat the public. So they're being checked. And they have tanks, uh, the, the ones in the automotive tanks. Uh, they've got, man, they've got everything. They're checking everything. They're not letting anyone get away with anything. This is where he began his fight against corruption with the gas. And this is so good for the public. Eh, dos fueron sin infracción, ahora fue muy alto el número infraccionado, fueron 35, 92. So he's saying this time we had a great number of infractions, which was 35. Only two were good, 35. So out of 38, wow. And then one of them had a negative verification, which means I think they are not sure one way or the other. Una no se dejó verificar. Oh, I'm sorry. One did not allow them to verify. That one was did not allow to verify, and I'm sure they're going to say who it was. Tuvimos cero inmovilizaciones de básculas, cero de vehículos inmovilizados y cero de autotanques inmovilizados. Todo esto fue muy bueno. So he said they did not have to stop any gas stations, tanks, or uh, uh, the ones that were in autos either. So this is very good news because that means they're starting to comply more. Uh, if there was any irregularities, it wasn't um, to such a margin that they felt they needed to be stopped or put out of business yet. La mayoría de los problemas los presentaron los cilindros, en donde revisamos 1,292. So they said the biggest problem was that they checked the cylinders. Uh, see that 1,292 in the gray on the bottom, uh, the second gray from the left, um, I'm sorry, the right. Um, it says that they checked 1292, and so that's where the irregularities were. So sometimes the um, um, the connectors, uh, the seals, uh, something like that may not be perfect. And so they're also trying to make sure that when they do um, uh, put gas or give them a tank, that it is uh, something that is in good um, working order and condition so that the customer is not being ripped off. Cilindros y en esa muestra el 7% salió con problemas que afectan a, a la seguridad de los consumidores. Esto es más alto del 1 o 2% que habíamos tenido las últimas semanas. Se... So, by the way, you guys, I'm doing this one with me in it, but in the future I'm just going to put a video. I'm just trying to teach you how to use it. Um, in the future I'll just do a video where it has just this section so you could just go right to it and you don't have to go through the you know get the um the one with the president and the whole conference you could just do this part of it which is really cool Fue al 7% también porque estuvimos verificando muchas muchos proveedores en la zona costera donde se dañan más los cilindros por las cuestiones climáticas So he said that they checked more of them on the coast because um for some reason those tend to be more um, have more problems, they get damaged more. I'm not sure why, maybe it's because they're close to the water and the corrosion or whatever, but um, they say they tend to be more damaged or um, not 
um, they have more trouble with those. So they checked more of those. Climatológicas de la costa de nuestro país. La que no se dejó verificar fue Gas Montara, en Timilpan, Estado de México, Barrio Tercero es donde está ubicada. So this was the one, Barrio Tercero, um, and he gave the name, uh, the one that did not allow himself to be tested. I wish they would have done a close-up on this, because I really like it when they put him on Front Street in a bigger way. Um, you know, by them making it small, uh, it's hard to read it. Um, and I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back just a little bit so you guys can hear uh, who it was, okay? Let's se dañan más los cilindros por las cuestiones climatológicas. De so he's saying that the cylinders get damaged more by related to the climate, okay? So um, that's why they check those more. De la costa de nuestro país. La que no se dejó verificar fue Gas Montara. So the one that did not allow him, themselves to be tested was Gas Montara. En Timilpan, Estado de México. En Temilpan, State of Mexico. Barrio Tercero es donde está. And in the third barrio. Ubicado. Muchas gracias. Okay, so that was it. Uh, pretty impressive, don't you think? I wish we had something like this uh, for uh, American gas prices in our local areas. Uh, maybe we do. I just haven't looked it up. But um, I think I think this is a really good way to fight corruption because, um, you know, people say, yeah, yeah, everybody says they're fighting corruption. I mean, they are doing it. They're sticking it to anyone who's trying to cheat anyone. Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador is about fighting corruption. And he's fighting corruption from the top down. And so he, oh, you guys would not believe. This guy cut um, uh, the, the wage of the president in half because there's a rule that nobody in government can get paid more than the president. So then everybody's um, wages went down. Plus, he got rid of the presidential airplane. He got rid of all the 8,000 security. They had assigned security detail for the president. He says, I don't need that. The people take care of me. So he's out in and among the people. If you get a chance, go look at Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, his channel, and you can see how many thousands of people showed up to his one-year celebration uh, on the 1st. And people love him because he's um, got transparency and he's um, giving back to the people. He's got um, a free education now because he considers that an inalienable right and not um, something to be privatized like they had done in the previous regimes. Um, and then also uh, free health care and medications. That is also considered a right, and I think it should be a right. Uh, only the rich people can afford medical care, dental care, and all that. What? You know, that's not right. And I'm, I'm very, it's not being socialist, it's being humanist. You have to be more human about it. Why should only the rich people uh, get uh, the, the rights to the basic needs of life? Okay, so then what else has he done? Uh, oh, he's giving money to the uh, elderly, like a retirement to everyone, no matter what job they did. Um, then he's giving uh, benefits to the uh, disabled, uh, disabled children, uh, grants to any of the children that go to school. Um, uh, what else? Uh, oh, my gosh. There's so many things. Um, if you get a chance, uh, watch the um, the conference not the conference, it was a big celebration at the Zócalo in Mexico, and he delineated moment by moment, which I'm going to be translating to English, but he um, said exactly what he's done, and you will be surprised of all the changes in Mexico that are going to benefit society. And also, Latin America is looking at Mexico now and saying, wait a minute, if they can do it, so can we. And that's why the problem with Evo Morales, because the uh, uh, World Money Fund, what, what are they called, International Mon Monetary Fund, 
um, they are not happy with people getting control of the countries, getting control of their own finances. So they're attacking all these ones that are trying to help the people and they're uh, putting them out of office. There's been a bunch of coups and uh, the one with Evo Morales was a big one, uh, which Mexico uh, decided to help him out and gave him um, asylum. And so they're, uh, they're going with everything, you know, the uh, World Monetary Fund. And unfortunately, the U.S. is also involved in helping, uh, which is an embarrassment to me that we would, as a nation, be uh, involved in destroying the, <clears throat> the countries that are trying to dig themselves out of a hole. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.